residents of Newark South Ward have seen an increased police presence following a rash of homicides this summer. But the surge has done little to stem the latest wave of violence here or across the city, which has seen 82 homicides this year, including a brutal double murder this week. Shavar Jeffries is a former assistant attorney general. He's one of four people now running to succeed Cory Booker as mayor and the latest to unveil an anti-violence platform. I mean, the streets are a war zone. Uh, the southward in particular, where murders have gone up almost 40 percent just in the last uh, few years. The, the city council made decisions to lay off 170 cops. Our cops do not have the equipment they need right now. They do not have the technological resource they, they need right now. Jeffrey's strategy has centered on blaming the council for the city's ills, including the violence. Convenient for him because he's not a member of that body, and the others running for mayor are. Not surprisingly, his opponents say they're working on the problem. Central Ward Councilman Darren Sharif says 50 new cops are on the way in the next few months. But I'm never going to be irresponsible to say, if you elect me to be the mayor, we're going to have a thousand cops on the street. No responsible person running for the mayor will say that, and it will explode the budget, and that's not just going to happen. With Booker headed to Washington next week, there is concern that the mayor's ability to attract investment and polish the city's image despite the violence will wane that his successor's job could be made even more difficult if the violence continues to escalate. I mean, downtown, I applaud the mayor for what he has done downtown, but we need those same resources in the neighborhoods. You know, uh, that, that will enable our young teens to get some work and they, they can feel confident and proud about themselves and they don't have to go out here and get involved in you know, the, the negative. North Ward Councilman Anibal Ramos is also running for mayor. Even his relatively quiet neighborhood has seen its share of violence this year. He says more cops on the street is a must, but not a panacea. There really has to be a call to action, and we have to put all hands on deck, get, get everyone together who can help, you know, build a safer city. Police Director Sam DeMeo was unavailable to talk to us today, but many expect that he'll be leaving his post before the next election, which will mean another change of leadership in the police department and likely a new anti-violence plan. Do you have any faith that things will get better anytime soon? Mm -mm, it's going to take years. Yeah, I say years. You think people have time to wait? No. It's just, it's so messed up out here. There are as many anti-violence plans as there are candidates for office in this city, leaving even the most optimistic of Newarkers skeptical. But most everyone agrees that until and unless this city gets control of its violence, prospects for economic development will continue to fade. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.